That thing is deeper than the Marianas Trench. Holy mackerel. Good day, fellow Russians. This is going to be a video within a video. I got this as part of a, a trade with a fellow enthusiast and a lot went into just getting it to this state. I'll show you that in the complete video, but I thought let's do a video within a video. And I want to show you my technique for leveling not only inserts, but the play field as well. This is probably one of the worst I've seen with regards to how sunken this is. So what happens is as these things start to drop, the ball hits the wood and starts wearing it out. And that's what happens with these kiss. So I've worked on enough of these. I've developed a technique that will help not only level the insert, but it's gonna level the wood as well. So follow along as I show you how to do that. Just wanna give you an idea of how deep this is. So this is some of that wire stuff. So here, it moves it here. It goes under. See? Pull it back a bit. So you can see that I'm getting the full tip underneath. Where is this one? It's not in. It's just living it. Anyways, we're going to do this one. And we're going to do this one. This one's pretty deep as well. I'm going to show you my technique. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just fill the, they'll lift up the insert, they'll paint it, they'll call it good. But you got all this wear that's going to cause you grief. So I'm going to show you how I, how I do it. This is what you're going to need. This is the equipment you're going to need. We basically have to knock out the insert, reinstall the insert, put a substrate over it, and then knock out the insert again. That's the technique we're going to do. So what you're going to need is a heat gun. You're going to need a couple of sacrificial inserts. I take these off old play fields, but they have to be flat. Okay, they got to be dead flat. So wet sandpaper, sand them, get them nice and flat. They can't be cupped. They can't be uneven. Uh, when you take them out, they need to be clean. So we're going to use some Q-tips. I'm just using this mean green that I have lying around. You need a... A spatula, I'm going to use a razor blade. It's got to be new. It cannot have any grooves in it. And then Bondo glazing and spot putty. Can you use other stuff? I've tried something called dolphin glaze for color, stuff like that. It doesn't break as cleanly as the Bondo, and I'll show you that in the video. Oh, and then you're going to need some, uh, some tools to get the inserts out once you heat them up with the heat gun. Have this in the hand. Make sure that they fit properly because the last thing you want to do is heat them up and then go searching for a tool uh, to get them up we're going to try to uh like as far as the play field goes it's it's pretty well destroyed so i'm not too worried about breaking any of the wood fibers i'm more concerned about breaking the insert because i want to i want to keep the inserts that we have because obviously they match the play field so i'll bring you back in a sec Okay, so these are the two ones we're going to do. And again, I just want to make sure that my razor blade, yes, is going to be able to color or cover uh, the surface. Can you do this with a populated play field with light bulbs and everything? Absolutely. Uh, it's just a little easier uh, that I have nothing on this play field. But nonetheless, uh, you can do it in the game. You can do a field fix if you have to as well. So these are the two in question so i'm actually going to mark them just because we're doing everything backwards here so i'll just put little x's so i know that these are the ones so i'm going to clean them you got to get all the dirt out of them so for example this one's actually pretty clean somebody must have done it before but if you have any dirt in here yeah so you can see some in here you got ah better yet okay you got dirt in there you heat it up the dirt is going to uh, melt into the plastic and that's the last thing you want to happen so i'm going to hang you up i'm going to hit this with the heat gun and we're going to slowly work these out and i'll show you what the technique is all about
Wow, this one just about fell out. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. It literally came out just from me pushing on it with the with the Q-tip. Yep, same thing. Wow, didn't even need the heat gun. Okay. What this is telling me is these are all loose. They're all, all ready to come out. But let's just stick to the program with the two that we got. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is you need a block, something that is dead flat. Okay, there's these pieces of plastic. All right, let's begin. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your sacrificial one. Remember, this is 100% flat. Put it in there. You're going to push it down. Now it's flush to the surface. Don't touch it again. Okay, flush to the surface, leave them. So what's going on right now is the insert is above the groove. Okay, so we want to take care of the groove. That's where we got spot putty okay buy a new container don't have one that you've got sitting around in the garage that's frozen about 10 times and thought about 10 times get a nice fresh one and i'm going to show you what we're going to do actually let's keep rolling let's see what happens here okay this is going to cause a little grief only because we have a bit of um Mylar here, but let's just see how we roll. Okay, this has to be 100,000% straight. What I mean straight, no gouges, no grooves, nothing. If you've got, like I'm using a plastic, this is obviously a plastic razor blade. You can use a spatula, you can use whatever you want. Just make sure it's smooth, there's no grooves to it. Okay. I always wondered what this little thing was on the back of these things. It's to pierce it. There we go. All right. Don't go too crazy. Oh, another thing you're going to need. Wow. I guess I'm getting old. Tape. We're going to start from here and pull down. The reason I'm putting the tape here. It's to collect the excess because I don't need a mound. Okay. Not gonna go too crazy. Okay, clean it off, do the other one. Treat this stuff like drywall. Don't play around with it. Just leave it. Okay, we're done. Let it dry. We'll see you in a bit.
but we're not done. If you have any hard edges, just take it off now. Wow, this one's even worse than this one. I thought that one was going to be the trouble. Okay, let it dry. Okay, it is, what, 12 hours later? Nice and dry. 800 grit sandpaper. You'd want it preferably on something <clears throat> that is 100% flat. Let's sand it real quick. Now you're going to pop them out. Push down or push up. Get you a little close up here. Sorry, guys. There we go. So nice and clean it broke. Same with this one. Now you're going to push it from behind. See what we've done here. Now they're very quick. Just use a little bit of alcohol here. We'll see how much this interferes. If this is a problem, it's not a problem. We just reinsert the jewel and then give it another quick wipe. But you can see that the glazing, spot glazing, sorry, forgot what it was called there, broke away nice and clean. Okay, so now it's a question of feathering out the outside 
but this is nice and flat. This whole area, let's see if I can get a shot in here. Yeah, the whole area is built up. Sorry, guys. Who the heck is it? There it is. <laughs> it's all built up with the plastic putty, the glazing putty. I was just looking at this uh, this one here. This one looks like it's going to pop up too. Okay, if we look at it from this far. It actually looks fantastic. And of course, you know, because this spot putting glaze is the color it is, it kind of blends in with the play field. It's not the reason I use this stuff. I use this stuff because you saw how cleanly it breaks. Uh, like I said, I've tried, uh, I think it's called dolphin glaze, which is white. That would be ideal if we could find something of this consistency uh, in white. That would be really ideal because for touch-ups and stuff like that, it's easier to do it off white. Because here, to touch this thing up properly, you would be painting it. Well, in this case, it's... Uh, you know, we would just be going with the orange and the yellows and things like that. It would, uh, wouldn't be that difficult. But if it was this one, for example, in the middle, kind of quasi middle of the play field where all the action happens, yeah, red's really gonna stick out like a sore thumb. But nonetheless, I want you to consider, let's say you've got one, like let's say it's this one here, that's depressed uh, and it's causing you a lot of grief, then this is a good technique to do one. You can do all of these. I've actually done a play field. This one's actually not too bad. But I've done a play field once where they were all sunken. I popped everyone out. Everyone. I'm talking everything. Put in all the sacrificial pieces. And then I used the same technique, except that, that time I used a spatula. And I covered it. Sanded it. Popped the jewels out. Uh, popped the, the proper ones back in. And then I used... Uh, an overlay and it came out it actually came out like it looked like factory so i'm not going to get into that detail with this one here uh, it's just a little bit more uh, beyond the scope of what i wanted to accomplish on this video uh, so for all intents and purposes let me just uh, put these in now how i would normally put these in is i would use a two-part two -part epoxy so i would use a jb weld okay i would uh, you mix it and then you would want to put all the glue, use a, a device and you put the glue in here. There we go. You'd be putting the glue in here. Okay. You let it set for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds kind of thing. And you pop in, you get another, again, get a flat. This is like completely flat. Piece of plastic or whatever the case may be. Put the jewel in. And leave it and you're done okay now let me grab the other one let's try it here yeah i would normally clean these up so cleaning these up causes a bit of a problem because if you do uh, use sandpaper you you do take off all the uh, details but anyway again for just for the purpose of this video okay Let's have a look. Ease it down. Boom. All right. Okay, now I'm going to put in the ones that are the, I call them the sacrificial jewels. So these are the originals. They are cupped. Okay, they're not 100% flat. They, they've got a cup to them, as most of the other inserts do. So let me take the one we just used that we pulled out, sand it flat. Sanding it flat means taking off the residue from before. That's pretty good.
Okay. I'll just clean them off. Doing everything dry. I'm not doing anything wet, like with a wet sand. Okay, these are pretty good. Okay, same thing. Put them in place. Okay, now they're not glued in, so if I push on it, it's going to pop through. But let's see what a ball does now. Not bad, eh? This one because it's sunken. <laughs> if you look here, it's beneath the surface where this one is still flush. Again, if I push it, it's gonna it's going to fall in. But I think you can see what we've accomplished. Okay, that's it. So I think it's a definite improvement over what we had before. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So, Russians, I hope this one was a good one. Not overly long. I have another couple of videos coming up that are uh, play field, uh, uh, what's the word? Play field restoration uh, intensive. So that's why it's, it's been a while since I posted a video. And I think you're going to like what you see on the next ones as well. So again, uh, rough fan over and out. Have a great day.